Hello. I remember my mother would get up and she said, oh, Arthur is bothering me, especially if it was cloudy outside. And I said, Mama, who's Arthur? She said, Arthritis. Don't worry, boy. You 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 live long enough, you know him personally. I know arthritis personally. My mother used to go to work, hurt all the time. All the time. If you ever went to work sick, didn't feel good, just wasn't up to it. But you went anyhow. The devil talk about make make more money moves. And you know why you did it? Because you wanted to make more money. You didn't want to lose that money. Athletes who don't play hurt, they don't play in championships. This thing called life stuff's going to happen. Like you go to the dentist and they give you those shots and you still feel that numbness. It's a part of the process. And so I'm here to do a work. I don't know how much time I have left on the planet. Can you imagine? God said, wait a minute. I sent you down to do some work. Well, Lord, I, I couldn't motivate any, motivate any people uh, today because I went to J&J uh, &J Family Dentistry and they, they numbed me up. They gave me a lot of shots and my top lip was numb so I can't do your work today. Is that right? Yes, sir. Good. Um, would y'all give him a, a dirt nap? Let me find somebody else. <laughs> no, 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 Lord. No, I can do it. Send me. Send me. No, 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 no. Send me. I can do it. I can do it. Oh, did, oh I, I don't feel nowhere as tired. <laughs> I can do it. I can do it. <laughs> Oh no, I'm here to do work. You're here to do work whether you realize it or not. I'm supposed to be motivating people 24 seven. That's why you see me all over the internet. I, I motivate people while I'm even sleep. <laughs> make more money moves. Yes, make more money moves. I'm, I'm gonna share with you, I'm gonna lay something out for you today that's gonna, you can say, whoa. There's a lot of people out there looking for jobs. Oh, Ooh, boy. Mm. You, this is a time you want to learn something new. I believe that God wants to do a new thing in our lives. And, and, and when you don't have enough courage or insight or vision to know when you've outgrown a situation and it's time to move on, Life moves on us. So what I love about Dr. Johnson, he's gentle. Now, he has an assistant named Alex. Last time I was there, I had a tear coming out my eyes. And I said, you're not crying, are you? I said, no, just no tears coming out right now. <laughs> he said, you're grown man crying. I said, come on, man. Where's your heart, Alex? <laughs> I want you to call them and tell them. Ask the Alex or Michelle over there. They they laugh at me all the time because I'm over there sitting in, in the waiting room, not only keeping social distance, but praying that I don't hear that drill. I don't like to hear that sound of that drill. That that freaks me out. Because <laughs> I got a, a a message for you today. And 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 I think it's it's a time where people need to have messages that can inspire them, that will give them hope, that will make you feel good, that will make you laugh. Why do you laugh so much? Because I'm happy. <laughs> a lot of people depressed and sad. No, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. No, no, no. It's a choice. It's a choice. And you have to make a conscious, deliberate effort to do that. Stuff's happening to me as well as everybody else. And being depressed doesn't serve me. Stuff happening to my family members. And I'm concerned and I'm an active force to help them get through it. 
But being depressed and feeling sorry and asking why me does not serve me. It took me a long time to learn to rise above things and say, peace, be still. Peace, be still. It's 12 noon. And if you're hungry, that's what I'm looking for, people that are hungry. See, I don't like to work with people who are not hungry. See, people that are hungry, they get their hustle on. People that are hungry, all they need are the, the directions and the tools and, and an endorsement and, and, and some knowledge on what they need to do to have a breakthrough, to build a new life for themselves, to, to make more money. See, I was fired from radio and I was very good. I could do it today, it dropped me in any city. Give me a microphone, homie can light it up. They fired me, why? I was good, but I asked them, I said, listen, CBS in LA, this happened like three years ago. I was doing a show out there in the afternoon, earning six figures. That's not bad for just about two or three hours. And so I asked the general manager, I said, listen, Dave Ramsey, he, he does his show from home. And he said, yes. I said, I'd like to do my show from home. He said, oh, no. Uh, he said, we, we don't want you to do your show from home. I said, why not? We want you here under our thumb. I said, I'm not an under your thumb kind of guy. I want you to think about it. I want to do my show from home like Dave Ramsey. Okay? So think about it. Two weeks later, I came to him and said, hey, when can I do my show from home? He said, well, we thought about it. We want you to do it here. We want you to come in. I said, I don't like being confined to the building. I want the freedom to do it from home, just like Dave Ramsey. The quality of my show will not be compromised. In fact, it'll be better because I'm in a more relaxed environment that resonates with me. And he said, no, we want you here under our thumb, as I said. And I said, I'm not uh, under your thumb kind of guy. So a week later, <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. I call a caterer, had a caterer come in and I paid the caterer and I, at lunchtime and they all ate and they were very happy. Who, who did this? And so the secretary said, Les Brown paid for this. Oh man, this is so kind and generous. You're just paying it. For everybody's food? Yes, oh, that's so thoughtful. Nobody's done this before. Thank you so much. I said, you're, you're welcome. Well, what's the occasion? Why did you do this? It's my going away party. What do you mean? I'm going in another direction. You, you're going in another direction? Yes. I'm resigning from doing the show in the afternoon. Why would you do that? I asked and said, I want to do my show from home, like Dave Ramsey. And you said to me, you wanted me here under your thumb. And I said to you, I'm not an under your thumb kind of guy. I told you to think about it. You thought about it and you said the same thing. I thought about it and I decided, I decided to take my life in another direction so that I would not be under your thumb. And so I wanted to give everybody a special treat today. <laughs> when you make more money, you can walk away from some stuff. <laughs> People say money won't make you happy, but everybody want to find out for themselves. Money gives you the opportunity to make choices. To make choices. They were shocked. 
I walked away. I gave him notice and I walked away. You want to do something that's you, especially now in this pandemic. You, you want to find something that's you. Let me share with you three reasons why I walked away. And I enjoyed the money that I was making, but let me share with you three reasons. Number one, I don't like being in an office. I don't like being confined. I like the sunshine. I got the windrow. When I get up in the morning, I am just like my mother, Mamie Brown. I let all the windows up, the blinds up, so sun can come in. I love sunshine. That's why I'm not in Chicago now. It was so cold. Last time I was there, I saw Superman riding in a cab. <laughs> okay? So I don't like to be confined. The second thing, I like to be my own boss. I don't like anybody telling me what to do. I'm not mentally fit for that. And some of you the same way. Not Okay, you know, I don't like to come in and see the same old faces every day. All right? Okay. And some of y'all working from home now. And it, it works for you, okay? But the other thing is, I don't like somebody telling me what to do. What time I have to be there. How long I can have for a lunch break. I'm a grown person. I've got to ask you, when can I go on vacation? How many of you would like to be able to say to yourself, Les, you can go on vacation whenever you decide. How many of you like to be able to call your own shots? <laughs> okay, that's me. I'm not... I'm not mentally fit to work with somebody. I got to have space. I, I got to call my own shots. Here's the other thing why I walked away. I could make more money working for myself. No job will ever pay you what you're worth. You can get 10 times more in the open marketplace using your story. And I know this to be true using your experiences, and I know this to be true, I've proven it, and using what I teach you how to do. Try it and prove it. Try it and prove it. Test it and prove it successfully. And this is the time you want to bet on you. That's the, that is the, the most important bet you can make is on you. The thing that you can make, the most dependable hand in the world is the one at the end of your risk, at the end of the day. The one at the end of your risk is, is the most important hand. And things have changed. But I believe that God is in the midst of all this stuff. All of this stuff. God is in the midst of all this. He's in the midst of all this. A reckoning is taking place. Make a more money move. Some money is being made. Quiet, big money is being made. I used to be involved in politics. You know, and they talk about follow the money. That's real. Big contracts, billion dollar contracts are being awarded. It's not in the newspaper. Not on the news. Yes, some people have a vested interest for things staying just as they are, while the masses argue about the crumbs. I'm willing to die for the country. I'm not going to wear a mask. If it's for my country, I'm willing to do it. Isn't that cute? <laughs> oh, boy. He has drank the Kool-Aid. <laughs> you know, at the Jim Joe's, we used to drink Kool-Aid all the time, but after Jim Joe's, I had no more Kool-Aid. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. He killed the Kool-Aid business. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Black folks used to drink Kool-Aid all the time, but after Jim Jones, oh no.
You want some Kool Aid? No, no, no. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. You know, no, no, no. I'm fine. No, no. You, you guys go ahead on. Go ahead. <laughs> Hold me fine. <laughs> how many of y'all remember Jim Joe say yes, yes, yes? And how many of y'all start drinking Kool Aid? Said that would be me. That would be me. <laughs> We all still drinking the Kool Aid. I know over seventy million that have drank the Kool Aid. Mmm. <laughs> oh, behave! Hello, whatever. <laughs> oh, this is funny. I know y'all laughing at my top lip because I went to J and J Family Dentistry, and my lips still numb. But I said, Lord, I'm gonna do your work anyhow. Hmm. Listen, listen, listen to me, Linda. Listen to me. Make a more money move. Do something that you, that you can do it seven days a week. That's your calling. A job is what you work for. A calling is what you are made for. You want to do something that's in an environment that does not drive your blood pressure high. An environment where on Monday morning, where the heart attack rate increases by 35%, people getting ready to go to jobs, a toxic environment that's not them. The heart attack rate increases by 35%. I've got a friend. I'm not going to tell you her name is Lily. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you her last name, okay? Uh, she doesn't work on Tuesday. <laughs> no, she doesn't. You can't make this stuff up because she knows the statistics. <laughs> because she found her blood pressure going up after 60 minutes on Sunday. This is documented. And the majority of people die on the toilet. 35% increase in heart attacks and strokes on Monday morning between 6 a.m. and 10 a.m people getting ready to go to jobs that's not them. Make a more money move. When you start doing something that's you, when you use your story or your experiences, stuff that you've been through and got on the other side, when you use your gifts, your gifts will make room for you. You'll find a way to make more money because you're going to stand out. You're doing something that resonates with you. You're not looking at the clock. My kids knew when I came home from the radio station, before they fired me, I went down to the basement. I was listening to motivational messages over and over and over again. I was reading 30 to 40 pages of something positive every day. I was preparing for the next version of myself. Right now, you want to be preparing. If you still got a job, then and Rona, you know Rona, and Rona has not eliminated, prepare for creating your own job. Now, then start working on yourself, learning something that's you, that you feel good about. A calling is something that you love so much you do it for nothing. And you do it so well that somebody will pay you to do it. Listen, this is an incredible time. If you're still breathing, you still got a pulse, oh, you have favor with God. This is an incredible time. There are things being shut down, but there are things that's opening up. Opportunities are opening up. People, oh, opportunity knocks on every door. It stands by silently waiting for you to recognize it. Don't you go for that one. And I'm saying to you, you are, you are an invaluable asset to yourself. You've got to decide to believe in you and in your gifts. You've got to decide that you want to learn something new. If you're not willing to learn, nobody can help you. If you're willing to learn, nobody can stop you. I've been unstoppable. Why? Because I'm full of versatility with nothing but ability. Come on now. Hey, there you go. He's about to get loose up in here. LB Triple P. Got to get loose. Come on now.
If you're ready for dramatic change in your life, the three steps that's most important. There's several, but number one, mental resolve, your mindset. That's major. I'm going to help with that. I'm going to help you with that. You, you're you going to have so much fun. People are going to look at you and say, why are you so happy? How did you turn your situation around so quickly? You're going to be able to tell them too. That's number one. Number two, you're going to learn how to make money in a different kind of way. And you're going to say, oh my God, I had no idea that it would be this simple. I had no idea. I had no idea. When I spoke in the Georgia Dome, and go and check it out. You see me speaking. Just put in Les Brown speaking in the Georgia Dome. That 34-minute speech. I earned six figures that night. I did not anticipate that. I was surprised. When, when the Book of Life says, I has not seen, ear has not heard, nose entered the heart of mankind, what God has in store for you when you commit thy works unto the Lord, I thought should be established. I said, whoa. I did not know. I'd have done it sooner. 14 years, I said, oh, I don't have a college education. 14 years, I said, oh, I never worked for a major corporation. 14 years, I allowed the negative conversation in myself that said, I'm not good enough. I can't compete with people with PhDs and MBAs. Have you ever doubted yourself? Have you ever thought about something you you wanted to do, you felt it in your heart you could do it, but your mind talked you out of it? Write this down. Got this from a friend of mine named Gary Cox. When there's an argument between your mind and your heart, follow your heart. And there's an argument between your mind and your heart. Follow your heart. Where your heart is there, your treasure is also. Follow your heart. You know, Dr. Johnson, he talks to you and he tells you stories. You know, he, he, he's done. It's a, he said, close your eyes, because he know I'm afraid to look at the needles, you know. Close your eyes. I said, yes, sir. Oh, you about them. And then he sh shakes you a little bit, buddy. Go on there. Hmm. But I got to it, and I didn't cry this morning. Alex said, you didn't cry today. There are no tears. I said, no, Alex. It's not nice to be laughing at people with tears coming out of their eyes. I wasn't crying. Those were just tears that were loose in my eyes. And they just fell out. <laughs> oh, boy. You know what I saw? Marathon Man and Little Shop of Horrors. I was through. <laughs> Yo. Millenniums don't know anything about those two movies. They were detrimental to the dentistry industry. Make a more money move. Put yourself in an environment that resonates with you. I, I, I believe this is transformation, disruptions, and miracles. You know what I call a miracle? The work that God does for you, through you, that you know that it wasn't you. And when people try and give you the credit, you say, to God be the glory. I know when you are in alignment with what you're supposed to do, you are tapping into miracle working power. Miracle working power. When you're in alignment, most people live a misplaced life. They never take the time to know themselves. So I like to know, how do I sound with a numb top lip? <laughs> Mama, I did it. Mama, you used to go to work hurt. 
your ankles swollen, your knees swollen from arthritis, and you win. Keep a roof over our head. You win. Keep food on the table. You win. Keep clothes on our back. And I thank you. I thank you. For your example. You told me to be respectful. Yes, ma'am and no, ma'am. You taught me the value of working, doing the right thing, being respectful of people. Yes, ma'am. You're still with me. I know it. I miss you, though. Around these times, I miss you. What a mighty God we serve. You have something special. You have greatness in you. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Bye for now.